Welcome to the Mujiwara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. In today's video, we're diving into the wild, unpredictable journey of one of the most surprising characters in Eiichiro Oda's epic tale Buggy the Clown. Introduced as a literal pirate clown and initially dismissed as a minor antagonist, Buggy has defied all odds and climbed the ranks in ways no one could have predicted. From his humble beginnings as a member of the legendary Roger Pirates to his current status as an Emperor of the Sea, Buggy's story is a testament to the unpredictable and often comical nature of One Piece. Uncover the layers of Buggy's ambition, his unconventional ascent to power, and his unexpected alliances that have established him as a formidable figure in the pirate world. Buggy the Clown made his debut in the One Piece universe as an actual pirate clown. Despite being a humorous character, and one of the series' initial minor adversaries, many fans did not anticipate Buggy's significance in the overall One Piece storyline, especially after several chapters and episodes had passed. Remarkably, Buggy has consistently placed himself in positions of significant influence. Buggy lacks the requisite fortitude that is typically associated with pirate commanders, even when compared to other ordinary pirate captains. Additionally, he used to be a member of the Roger Pirates. Curiously, all of his achievements have stemmed from his humorous methods of attempting to escape and protect himself. However, it appears that Destiny and Eiichiro Oda have different intentions, since his comedy tactics consistently propel him to greater levels of success rather than leaving him as an anonymous pirate. The Birth of Buggy's Ambition – Why and How Did He Become a Pirate? During Buggy's childhood, he served as an apprentice on G.O.L.D., Roger's crew, working alongside Shanks. The reasons that motivated him to join Roger's group remain unknown. However, tangible pirate booty, particularly gold, has consistently captivated Buggy. Despite his desire to become the Pirate King, Buggy spent a significant amount of time as a low-ranking pirate, lacking notoriety except for his association with Roger. During their time on Roger's team, Buggy and Shanks forged a close relationship, to the point where they could be considered close friends. Nevertheless, Buggy consistently regarded Shanks as a rival and held him responsible for his own consumption of Bara Bara no Mi. Following the disbandment of the Roger Pirates, Buggy refused Shanks' offer to join his crew and instead embarked on establishing his own. Due to his lackluster skills, Buggy never posed a significant challenge to the renowned pirates in their quest for the One Piece. Instead, he directed his efforts towards acquiring treasure. Ironically, Shanks has repeatedly exploited his excessive obsession with treasure. In addition, despite his inherent timidity and lack of courage, Buggy is willing to engage in impulsive actions solely for the purpose of obtaining treasure. This is evident in his decision to pursue Luffy into the depths of Impel Down, motivated by the promise of a Captain John's armband that Luffy possessed, which supposedly held a treasure map. Buggy's rise to power, Buggy's leadership style, and the loyalty he commands. Buggy's ascent to power is a remarkably unexpected and unconvincing reality in the world of One Piece. Transitioning from a low-ranking pirate to attaining the esteemed title of Warlord of the Sea. And ultimately ascending to the position of Emperor of the Sea, Buggy has experienced a progression of power and authority throughout the series. Nevertheless, since his initial introduction, there has been no apparent progress in the development of his Devil Fruit abilities. After meeting Luffy in the Orange Town and Logue Town arcs, the Marines captured Buggy and imprisoned him in Impel Down. By chance, Luffy saved Buggy, and during their adventures, Buggy gained the allegiance of several Impel Down prisoners, whom he brought with him to Marine Ford. Due to the unwavering allegiance of numerous perilous Impel Down prisoners, Buggy secured a position as one of the Warlords of the Sea. Buggy, a formidable maritime commander, obtained a loan from Sir Crocodile to establish his enterprise, Buggy Delivery. Nevertheless, after the Warlord system was condemned, Crocodile demanded his payment. Unfortunately, Buggy, true to his clownish nature, had no money to provide. As a result, Crocodile nearly sold him into slavery. Buggy's fate remained uncertain due to the actions of Crocodile and Myhawk, the founders of Cross Guild. Nevertheless, his underlings proceeded to release a poster depicting Buggy as the leader of the Cross Guild while portraying Myhawk and Crocodile as his followers. The poster showcases the notorious Crocodile and Myhawk, the world's most formidable swordsman in one piece, believed to rival Shanks, a current sea emperor. If only that were true, Buggy's subordinates would make him eligible to become an emperor. 
When examining Buggy's life, it is evident that his most prominent attribute is unquestionably his exceptional fortune. Considering Buggy's weakness, it is uncertain whether even Luffy would be able to overcome the numerous challenges that Buggy has endured. Nevertheless, the ongoing joke in the series is Buggy's progressively growing fame, which raises speculation about Oda's intentions for his character. Cross Guild Formation Teaming up with big names gives the clown some leverage. Buggy is reputed to be one of the most formidable pirate leaders in the series, holding the title of Emperor of the Sea. Nevertheless, his supporters are aware of his feeble and cowardly disposition. In spite of his considerable acclaim, Buggy would not hesitate to flee, abandoning his loyal crew members, if his own life was at risk. Nevertheless, assuming the role of the Emperor of the Sea in forming alliances with Crocodile and Myhawk has provided the clown with a certain advantage and courage. He boldly proclaims that they should pursue the One Piece, as the Cross Guild has the necessary troops to undertake such a task. This demonstrates that despite his inherent limitations, Buggy has consistently desired to attain the position of Pirate King, and now that a chance has presented itself, he is eager to seize it. By establishing the Cross Guild, Buggy has gained the advantage of his good fortune, several subordinates from Impel Down, and the support of Crocodile and Myhawk. As a result, Cross Guild has emerged as a formidable opponent for anyone it targets. Potential Strategy to Move Up in One Piece's Hierarchy How can Buggy contribute to One Piece's lore? Despite Buggy's inherent weakness, his extraordinary luck propels him to greater achievements regardless of his actions. Furthermore, due to his newfound allies and elevated position, any adversaries would need to carefully reconsider before attempting any action against the former clown who has now become the kingpin. As Buggy directs his attention towards One Piece, Oda may have undisclosed intentions for him that fans are now unable to comprehend. Despite his lack of courage, Buggy the Clown has managed to increase his bounty from 15 million berries to an impressive 3 billion 189 million berries. Summary and Highlights In the story of One Piece, Buggy the Clown astounds fans by transitioning from a funny persona to a formidable entity. Despite his inherent frailty, Buggy possesses the ability to inspire unwavering allegiance and wield significant authority, ultimately attaining the prestigious titles of Warlord of the Sea and Emperor. Buggy directs his attention towards acquiring the One Piece in order to advance in the hierarchy, collaborating with prominent figures such as Crocodile and Myhawk. That's all for today's deep dive into the remarkable journey of Buggy the Clown. From a comical pirate with a modest bounty to one of the most notorious figures in the One Piece universe, Buggy's story is a blend of luck, cunning, and sheer unpredictability. As we look forward to future chapters, who knows what fate has in store for him? Will Buggy finally seize the One Piece, or will his luck run out? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things One Piece. Comment below with your thoughts on Buggy's rise to power do you think he deserves his title as Emperor of the Sea? Until next time, keep exploring the Grand Line and stay tuned for more pirate adventures. Thank you very much for visiting the Mujiwara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our review analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy.